Hi, Christine. Um, nice to meet you at Mega Success. Um, I've seen you really uh, shining on the stage. Can you tell us a little bit about you and your background and how you got all to uh, get into all of this? Sure, absolutely. Um, thank you for the compliment. And it is really great to meet you at Mega Success as well. Uh, I have been an executive coach for over 24 years. Uh, my background, I started my career in the pharmaceutical industry and I was in a sales program, um, number one sales in the company. We're sitting in a meeting and this guy walked on the stage and he was a transformational coach. That's what we called them at the time. Yeah. And I'd never heard of that, right? So what does that mean? And so I was sitting in my chair and I was like, this is not my seat. That's my seat. Because what was the really compelling for me is I knew that I wanted to make a big difference in the world. And I knew I wanted to make a big difference with senior level leadership and executives and really help people move through their own obstacles and barriers. And that's exactly what he was doing for us in our company. So for me, it was, you know, how do I do that? And I got trained very quickly. I learned how to be a coach and a consultant. And um, I was the youngest uh, seminar leader and, and program leader for a public company for quite a while, about eight years, while creating my own companies. It's really awesome. I mean, uh, we need more power women like you. I just met a bunch of others as well here. It's so cool yeah. that you're embracing women uh, and also business leaders to become their best selves. Um, how do you do that? Uh, well, I, you know, one, it's experience, so I know what I'm getting into with whatever kind of leadership problem somebody has. Um, I think the biggest thing is understanding what is the underlying behaviors that are driving the results that people are getting. So most of the time people understand the results they want to achieve and then when they don't have those results they can't figure out why. I come in and I help them figure out why are they not getting the results that they want to achieve. And usually it's a behavioral issue, it's a belief, uh, some perception that they got stuck with from either a very young age or through later, later years that they decided about themselves or their partners or the company. So that's kind of the fundamental part. Um, shifting the behavior patterns is, is rewiring or using neuroscience and, and neuroscience technology to change the way we think about our business so that you actually can have a breakthrough in your performance. So, and it doesn't matter whether you're a woman, whether you're a man, whatever you're working on in your leadership, whatever you're working on as a, as an, as a business owner, that's what we get to the heart of the matter of. How difficult is it to work with executives? Because I believe that those are like in their pattern and really doing that for uh, for a long time of years, and then you you break that behavior to being even getting more out, out of them. Yeah. So there's two reasons people work with coaches. One, they either have a pain, they have something that they don't want, or they want something and they just don't know how to accomplish what what it is that they want. So once they make a decision and a choice that they're going to work with a coach, they're actually really easy to work with because they, they open up and they'll become vulnerable and they'll say, okay, these are the things that are getting in the way. And you know, often in a, in a business situation, they'll think, oh, it's my team or it's this guy or it's that guy. When I, when I can have them understand what's missing in their leadership, you know, people not understanding what their vision is, is their vision clear? Are they clearly communicating what they want out of their people? How do they create a culture of accountability? And then hold those leaders to account for the results they say they want to produce really magical things actually happen so really great do you have any tips to uh, become a better leader Some tips to become a better leader I have I have tons of tips I know, I know but some <laughs> tips that we can share with the audience yeah and then um, I think my, my first and where I will always uh, where I, the starting point for leadership is authenticity and you know, if you are passionate about something and it's your natural self-expression, so if you're authentic about that, your leadership will, that's half the battle. You don't have to force anything. You don't have to you know, um, try too hard. It's just, it's right there. And then you're just honing the skills of leadership to figure out how to get the best out of your people and have them understand what your passion is and if they can see their vision inside of that. And that's really, I think, the key to the kingdom for, for great leadership. Awesome. How can people reach out to you? Where can they, uh, they find you on the internet or? Yeah, so there's lots of ways to find me. Um, one is contrastconsultingco.com. The other is find me on LinkedIn at Christine Nielsen or at Contrast Consulting. So we have a, a, a page for the company as well. And then on Facebook as well, uh, we have um, Contrast 
Coaching and Contrast Consulting, uh, as well as Christine Nielsen. And then on Instagram, it's Coach C Official and Contrast Consulting. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. And, and I um, wish you all the, all the success in starting up your new company. And I think you'll be really great. You seem to really love it. And I think you'll be amazing at it. Yeah, it was uh, awesome coming here all the way from Germany. It was totally worth amazing. it. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing people like you. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you. Pleasure.